We now revisit an iconic moment in travel and advertising history. The famous 1972 photo of a Trinidadian model dripping wet in a Jamaica-branded T-shirt has been immortalized in a new way. Ramon Gordon tells us how. It's a photo that made headlines. First published in 1972, the image depicts Trinidadian model Sintra Bronte emerging from a pool, her frame draped in a blood-red T-shirt with the lone word Jamaica printed across her chest. It's been described by some as the Jamaica Tourist Board's most impactful promotional poster, having earned multiple global travel awards and recognition from Grammy Award winner Alicia Keys, who attempted to recreate the shot back in 2015. Yesterday at the Carissa Group-owned S Hotel in Kingston, that photo took physical form. S. Kingston was featured over the years. Several statues, works of art created by some very talented Jamaicans to represent our culture. So it was no surprise when our chairman, Mr. Christopher Issa, borched the subject with Sintra. As she was in Jamaica, was a Jamaican icon, we asked if she would be open to the idea of us making a statue for her similar to that in the poster. She immediately agreed, and we said that there was to be one condition that she would have to return when the sculpture was ready so that she could be here for the unveiling. Sintra did, in fact, return to the island for the unveiling of the bust made in her honor. Interestingly, she lived and worked here for years before settling in Tobago. The statue, crafted by Jamaican artist Sheed Cole and a team of local artisans, commemorates the lasting impact of the photo. At its unveiling yesterday, Tourism Minister Ed Bartlett said the shot likely earned Jamaica millions. Sindra is a Trinidadian, mm -hmm. and she carried Jamaica's face worldwide. I'll give you a story. The very first year that that poster was put in the marketplace, 500,000 visitors came to Jamaica. Sintra stayed out of the spotlight for years after the photo went public, choosing instead to focus on her family and businesses back home. Her husband of four decades died nine months ago, and while she's still adjusting to that loss, she says she's found comfort here in Jamaica. I now consider myself Jamaican and Caribbean woman. <laughs> the Caribbean woman. Okay. Again, again, Mr. Issa, thank you. Thank you for remembering me. Thank you, Mr. Your Honor, for remembering me also. To all of my fans, thank you. And it's so nice to know that I am appreciated. Ramon Gordon for CBM News.